Hey. Can we state your government for the audience today? Sure, it's Jenna Momozo, M-I-M-O-Z-O. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about yourself and what do you do. I mean, I know we all know that we work at Set Own Arts, <laughs> but I just found out that you're also an artist, and I'd like to hear a little bit more about that personally. Sure. Uh, I would consider myself an event producer. Um, I work with Staten Island Arts. I volunteer with the LGBT Center on Pride Fest. Um, I'm also a filmmaker and a theater director by trade. Oh, so did you go to school for that? I did. I have a degree in technical theater from Wagner College and a certificate <laughs> in filmmaking from New York Film Academy. That's awesome. So what projects are you working on right now? What have you done in the past? Give us a little bit of a run through. Sure. I uh, was part of this group Psycho Lab that started Van Duzer Day's Weekend Walks, um, which kind of wrapped up this last year and finishing up. Uh, going five years strong, which was really great. And uh, so I was event producer for them, and I've also done the Snug Underground Theater Festival from like 2008-2010 at Snug Harbor. Um, I also worked at Snug Harbor for a long time. And currently I am working on writing, so I'm doing a lot of spoken word poetry, also trying to write my first screenplay. Um, and so I've done a lot of short films, and I'm trying to like, work my way up to get to, to get working on a feature. Um, I'm gonna do some production assistant work here and there as I can. That's awesome, I totally knew that. I have a poem that I want to show you. Yeah. Sidebar. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you were, you, what do you work on specifically right now or that we could, is there anywhere out there we can tease it a little bit? Yeah, well, you can check out my Vimeo page. That's vimeo.com backslash gmims, G-M-I-M-Z. Uh, I have some clips up there, some short films. Um, I'm not technically working on anything right now, but I'm practicing writing, so I'm trying to write a screenplay. So I'm reading lots of books and just trying to get into the habit of writing. Okay. So that's awesome. So, um... I don't know. Now see you now. You my fucking questions. They've been on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> What's your goal as an artist? My goal as an artist. I like what you said earlier about just making some noise here on Staten Island. I think what um, when I got involved with Psycho Lab and doing Van Duzer Days, um, we were kind of fighting this really negative stereotype that Staten Island has in Still mainstream is. media, right? Uh, true life, I'm a Staten Island girl, uh, all that stuff. So Jersey Shore, uh, it's really easy to take a jab at us. So I think my whole goal behind even starting to organize and do things here was that um, trying to just gain a little respect for Richmond County. Seriously, move on a shaker, I like that. Putting us on the map. Trying. But your personal goal, I'm talking about. My personal goal? It's a good question. Uh, I like where I'm at right now, working for Staten Island Arts. Mm -hmm. um, I think that I've gotten the opportunity to see them go from a little basement office at Snug Harbor all the way up oh, to wow. uh, this space we have in the ferry terminal, which you were, uh, you were at drawing at last week. Uh, drawing from memory, running until March 22nd, you can come see us in the ferry terminal. I'm gonna be there on Wednesday! <laughs> um, so, you know, it's really great to be part of that experience. I don't know if we'll be there forever, but I know that I want to make a, I want to make a movie, so my goal right now is to try to get that under my belt. And then I'll have another goal after that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. How, and how old are you, just out of curiosity? I am 32 years old. Really? I thought you were a lot younger than that. Thank you. <laughs> Colin! <laughs> um, okay, so then what do you what do you make your... If you, obviously movies are made to kind of, kind of prevent a goal. I mean, or a lesson or... Sure. You're, what, do you, what is it you make it for? That's what I'm trying to spit out here. Sure. Um, sometimes I make videos for fun, like to be funny and to have fun. Sometimes I do videos, um, I help a friend do a Kickstarter video and just kind of help people get media to put on their website and things like that because, again, you can't, it doesn't, if a tree falls in the forest, do you, as anybody here, if you're not out there and you're not, you don't have a web presence and things like that, you know, people need to know about what's going on here. So I'll help people just to help them and do that to get their voice out there. Um, so I've been doing actually a lot of Kickstarter stuff and like trying to make videos for people that are just trying to get themselves out there and aren't video artists necessarily, so it's hard to get that media together. So I've been doing that for right now. Um, in my personal work, uh, you know what, I don't feel, I feel like I haven't made enough movies yet, my own personal movies, to have a voice yet, so I guess I'm still trying to figure that out. I think it's a message. I mean, yeah. you have to, right? I guess everything you do has a message, whether it's making art to sell or making art for yourself is a message. Yeah. I like to make people feel anything. I like to make them cry, I like to make them laugh, so I'm trying to make them feel something. And I do know that whatever script I write in Staten Island is going to have a component in it in some That's way. Awesome. Um, yeah, I think and in any kind of element of art, you have to make it uh, relatable to people, and then, then they really, it hits home for them. Definitely. And I think that uh, Staten Island is now kind of recognizing that there's a lot of people that have that ability yeah. mm -hmm. and that we're all just not stupid, dumb, fist <laughs> I mean, I like, to fit, but I like to put my fist along with the next person, but that's not all we are. Um, and they're a facet of who we are here, but we're more than just But everyone, that's a part of everybody. Like, <laughs> you can't right. just all push us in one corral. Right. It's easy to stereotype, so we're just trying to break stereotypes here. We're trying to break stereotypes. Can I say break stereotypes too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break stereotypes. Uh, which I'm totally into. <laughs> yes, love breaking stereotypes. All right, Jenna, so tell us about 
your social media and how you're using that and how you would encourage others to use that to reach out and network. Sure. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new platforms out there that you can use. I mean, Facebook seems to be like your general usage. Uh, I use Twitter a lot. I use Snapchat. I'm a big fan of Snapchat now. That's cool. I've been getting up into that. So you can find me on there, Gmims, G-M-I-M-Z. Also on Twitter, Gmims. Um, it's just new ways to tell stories. Uh, and I see really, I really, really recommend using those things to tell stories. It's, I don't care what you ate for lunch. Uh, I want to know why. I want to know why you made that choice to eat that for lunch. So I'd rather see that part of the story than just the picture of it. So use your hashtags. Use all that stuff. I try to use it in a storytelling platform if when I can. I think. That was a beautiful way to put that. <laughs> the platform for telling stories, you know, what? like 10 light bulbs just went off in my head and I think I have to start using videos, not just pictures. Because Yeah, if you're interested in that, Snapchat is definitely the, the new app that I've been using a lot and I've seen a lot of different people use it for a lot of different things. Really? Not just, I mean, I think it started for sending like sex pictures to each other. It's way, <laughs> it's way more than that now. I mean, you can do that if you're, that's what you're into. You certainly can use it for that. Um, but I mean, the way, what they're doing now is just uh, leaps and bounds from where they came from. So I think... You follow, if you follow the right people, it's, it's pretty interesting to watch. But I feel like Snapchat's so fleeting. I'm like, oh, that's fun. Oh, oh. You know? Like yeah, it, it is, but you can, you can, you can take, you can uh, screenshot, you mm -hmm. can screen grab, and you can draw on it. You can be an artist, snap artist. Ha check out hashtag snap artist. Uh, check out people like M. Placo and Sean Doris, and they're doing really interesting things with snap art. Uh, where you're creating art really? on, on tablets and on your phone with your with your index finger. I am not an artist. I try to do it all the time. Um, I make stuff here and there. Uh, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah. You can find me on Snapchat and look at all my bad art. <laughs> I'm gonna do a tab. <laughs> um, do you have uh, Instagram? I do. It's also uh, Gmims. Everything's Gmims. That makes total uh, sense for yeah. branding. Yeah, Gmims. My no one ever knows my first or last name, so G G M I M Z. Um, so you can find me on Instagram, you can find me on the Facebook that way as well. Uh, I mostly use Instagram and I've been using Snapchat a lot, so find me there. I have definitely an edge on Snapchat. Yeah. Everyone else on <laughs> Please Snapchat. do. And check out Staten Island Arts, statenislandarts.org, um, where you're Burroughs Arts Council. So if you're an artist and you're making art, and that means any type of art, music or painting or whoever, come talk to us. We want to help you out in what you're doing. Thanks, Jenna. I think that is a beautiful little bundle <laughs> of information that we all needed. Sure. Thanks for being here. No problem. Thank you.